So in this video, we are going to learn how you can write the equation for a parabola if you're not given a graph. So what you're going to be given is information about the parabola, and then you're going to be able to write the equation um, of the function. All right, so before we start, I just want to do a quick review of the three ways or the three forms of a quadratic. So first off, we have standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So that's our standard form. Then we have vertex form, which is probably my personal favorite. And that looks like a, and then in parentheses, x minus h, squared plus k and the hk is the vertex and then we have intercept form which is also known as factored form and that is when we have x plus or minus and i'm just going to use p and q x plus or minus q so this is in factored form um, so we know if we are um, looking for information about our parabola, the A value is going to tell us the stretch or the shrink, as well as whether the parabola opens up or opens down. So that A value is um, present in all three forms. All right, so here we go. Let's do our first one. So I am going to tell you that um, the x-intercepts are 2 and negative 5. And then I'm going to tell you that the parabola passes through um, the point 3, 4. All right, so what's happening here is I know those are my x-intercepts. So that's where the parabola hits the x-axis. And then I know that the parabola passes through this point. Okay, so given that information, since I know what the x-intercepts are, I'm going to use intercept form. All right, so for intercept form, I am starting with a, and then I have x plus or minus p and x plus or minus q. So if you look at this, I have x's, I have an a, a y, and then these two values right here. And this information has given me all but one of those. The only thing I don't know is what the A is. So this is what I mean. I know that if the x-intercepts are 2 and 5, then that's going to be my P and my Q. So I can go ahead and say that I know that Y equals A, and then since 1 of the x-intercepts is 2, that's going to be x minus 2, and since the other is negative 5, that's going to be x plus 5. So I already have that going for me. Now what I need to do is figure out what the value of a is. Well, the easiest way to do that is to look at the point, because I know that this parabola is going to go through this point, and this point represents an x and a y that's on the parabola. So I know that if I fill in 4 for the y and 3 for the x, that that's going to equal. All right, so on the right side, I have in this set of parentheses a 1, in this set of parentheses an 8. Well, that's just the same as saying 8 a equals 4, because I'm just multiplying these together. Switched it around, which you can. So that tells me that if I divide both sides by 8, that the A is 1 half. So I know that the formula, or sorry, the equation for this described parabola is Y equals 1 half x minus 2, and x plus 5. 
and this is the parabola that has x-intercepts at 2 and negative 5, and then it goes through this point. So if I were to fill in 3 for x and work it out, it would equal 4. All right, let's try another one. So let's say for this example, example 2, um, this time I'm going to tell you that the vertex is at 2, negative 5, and that the parabola passes through um, the point 5, negative 23. Okay, so for this example, I've given you information about the vertex of the parabola and then a point that the parabola goes through. All right, well, since I was given the vertex, I'm going to use vertex form. So I know that vertex form looks like this, x minus h squared plus k. So that's what vertex form looks like. Now, here's what I've been given in this information up here. I know that's the h. I know that's the k. And now we know that this can be used as an x and a y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these five numbers in place of those, sorry, these four numbers, I was looking at the five, these four numbers in place of those four variables, which means I can solve for a. All right, so the y is negative 23. I don't know what the a is, that's what I'm looking for. The x is five, the vertex is 2 squared, and then the k is negative 5. All right, so here I go. So now I'm just going to work through this here. So 5 minus 2 is 3 squared makes this 9a minus 5. So now to solve this, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So that's negative 18 equals 9a. Divide both sides by 9, so a is negative 2. So I know now that the equation of this parabola is y equals my a is negative 2, and then I know from up here that this should be x minus 2 squared minus 5. So that is finding the equation of the parabola given the vertex and a point that it goes through. All right, last example. What if we were given the y-intercept? All right, so for this one, so here's example three. So this time, I'm gonna say that the vertex is negative two, nine. And the y-intercept is 13. Okay, so if we look at this one, we were given the vertex. So it makes sense to use vertex form. So if we use vertex form, that means y equals a x minus h squared plus k. So that's our vertex form of our parabola. And I know what the vertex is. But the problem here is that I have only given one other number, which is the y-intercept. So I have five variables here, but I've only been given three numbers. But really, I have been given four. So I'm going to give you time to think for a split second. There's valuable information right here. I know the vertex is the h and the k, so I'm going to go ahead and label that. And I know that this is the y-intercept, which would make sense that it would be the y. So what else could I possibly know? Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that the y-intercept is always located where x is 0. So by saying the y-intercept is 13, I'm actually given the point 0, 13. So now... I know that this is my x and that's my y. So I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. So 
The Y is 13. I don't know what the A is. The X is 0. My vertex is at negative 2, and that's squared, and then plus K. So now I'm just working this out. So 0 plus 2 squared, sorry, it, 0 plus 2 is 2, squared is 4, so that's 4A plus 9. Subtract 9, and I get 4, so A is 1. So I know for this parabola that the equation is Y equals, my A is just 1, so I don't need to write it, but this should be X plus 2 squared plus 9. So this parabola has a vertex at negative 2, 9, and then it has a y-intercept of 13. Now, I might not be able to see it from here, so I'm going to take one more step, and that is that I'm going to show you if I convert this into standard form, you'll be able to see the y-intercept. So for standard form, I need to multiply my binomials together. So what that means is that I'm doing x plus 2 times x plus 2. So that'll give me x squared plus 4x plus 4, and then plus 9. So if I combine like terms, I get x squared plus 4x plus 13. So now I can see that the y-intercept is 13. And remember that we know that this is the y-intercept because the y-intercept is at the spot where x is 0. So if x is 0, I can basically cover those up, and I can see that y is 13. All right, so bottom line is that we have three forms that we can work with. You really are going to start with the form based on the information that you're given. So if you're given the vertex, it makes sense to start with vertex form. But if you were given the x-intercepts, it makes sense to start with intercept form. Now, make sure you pay attention to what form you're asked for in the answer. So if in this problem we were asked to write this in standard form, we can go ahead and go through using intercept form, but then we would just need to convert this over into standard form, basically, which is what we did in the last example. All right, so that explains how to write the equation of a parabola if you're not given a graph.